So the Big Slice with Driver is an absolute killer. And as you can see from this drive, that might be something you do on a regular basis. And even though you're not delivering the club in an ideal way, what if I told you it's not so much your golf swing that's the problem, but it's actually these that are the problem. I'm gonna show you why the biggest reason you're slicing the ball is the way you grip the golf club. Right, so we look at that first tee shot there. We saw it curving out to the right. So we can see a club path of minus 9.2 degrees, which is out to in 9.2 degrees. The club face was open 9.4 degrees to that path. So you can see that ball set off towards the target and sliced out to the right. So we can see that opening drive there was the perfect recipe for a slice. I know probably some of you watching are going, I wish that was my slice, that looked nice and controlled. So the thing is, you're probably doing it even worse than I've just demonstrated. And I hope nowadays a lot of golfers are understanding what's causing the slice. So like we said there, that club path working out to in, club face open to that path, causing the ball to set off where the club face points, shaping from left to right for the right-handed golfer. But what if it was not really to do with your swing, but more to do something with setup, and particularly the way you grip or hold the golf club? So I'm gonna show you the mistake I see a lot of golfers make with how they hold the golf club, how it makes them set up to the golf ball, and then what that causes in the swing. So I think starting with the top hand, so left hand for right-handed golfers, a lot of club golfers tend to get very in the palm because it feels like they can really grip the golf club. And then the problem is once they've got that left hand on, that right hand comes in on top, that right arm's very straight and the shoulders are very, very level. Now, if we look down the line when we do that, that left shoulder is now set, the right hand comes in from the top, we see that straight right arm, and straight away my shoulders are now pointing way off to the left. And it's unbelievable how many golfers do that, and I think it becomes even worse when, as they set up there, they get that hand on, then they wanna have a look down the hole so everything opens up more. You can see now my shoulders are very level. We've seen from down the line how left that is, and then the swing just swings on the line of those shoulders. And that is a real beauty, way right path. Not quite as bad on that one at 5.4 degrees out to in, but the club face 11 degrees open and pretty much that is a lost golf ball. So what we're gonna talk through is when you hold the club as you would do there. So very in the middle of the palm, right hand on top. If you're somebody who holds it like that, I want you to lift the club up in front of you and I want you to try and open the club face as much as you can and then close the club face as much as you can. And what you'll see there is you're able to open the club much more than you can close it. Now the problem is, let's say you're somebody then that comes back in the middle of that range, you see that club face is gonna be wide open, the shoulders being left are gonna make you swing left, but also you're gonna swing more out to in to try and get that club face pointing at the target. So the first thing I want you to understand is when you're holding the club, if you were to let your arms hang down, You'll see how the hands kind of, the thumbs point inwards. So what I'd like you to do is move that left hand hold a little bit more down into the fingers. So as that hand closes, the angle that left hand creates is more like it would hang naturally. So straight away for a lot of golfers, that's gonna feel much more down towards the fingers. And it's gonna feel a little bit, probably you'll say awkward, I just want you to say different. And if it doesn't feel different, you're not doing it differently. But once that lead hand is in that new position, I then want you to bring that right hand in from the side and let the meaty pad of your lower hand cover that thumb. So probably gonna feel a bit more in the fingers for both of those. And what we can see from down the line is once I've got that new left hand hold, left hand down, right hand in from the side, we can see now how those shoulders are more in the same line as my hips and my feet. So a much more neutral address position. Now, as a little check like we did before, now when you hold the club up in front, rotate the club up as open as you can and close it as much as you can. Hopefully, you'll see that you can do pretty much the same. 
If you're a slicer of the golf ball though, I don't mind if you want to go even a little bit more into the fingers with the lead hand, uh, with the top hand, sorry, so that you could even close the club face a little bit more than you can open it. Remember, your two hands are the only part of you that touch the golf club, so they are a huge influence on that club face. And a lot of golfers who hold the club poorly are trying to make changes in their golf swing that actually their grip won't allow them to make. So what we want you to feel then is obviously we need to get this going with the golf ball, but we're gonna go through our little setup. So feel how that lead uh, left hand hangs, pop that down more towards the fingers, set the hand, bottom hand in underneath, and just make a few swings and see how the swing feels compared to normal. And the feedback I will generally get off guys is they'll say how they almost feel like the hands kind of rotate or roll over. Now, I'm not saying that's a feeling everybody wants. Certainly for me, that's not a feeling I particularly enjoy. But if you're somebody who's been hitting the golf ball wide open with no rotation, that'll be a really nice feeling. So once you've had a few swings and you can kind of get that feeling, we're gonna set up to the golf ball and maybe just swing not at 100% speed to begin with, just to get a feel. So again, go through the routine, Practice the way you're re-gripping the club as often as possible so it becomes very much more habit. So stand up, normal swing. And straight away, you'll see a massive difference in the direction of the shot. Now, all of a sudden, I've swung the club slightly from the inside. The club face has been under a degree closed still missed the center line slightly right but you'll agree a much much better drive now if you're one of those golfers who slice the golf ball and you've exaggerated that hold a little bit you might even get the ball shaping the other way a little bit so we can see a little bit of right to left shape path still from the inside club face six degrees closed and all of a sudden, not only are we starting to be more accurate, but we're starting to hit the ball further because when that club face is open, it's a very glancing blow on the ball. Whereas as that club face is closing more, we can press the ball, transfer energy from club head to ball better. And that ultimately hits the ball further. So hopefully you're working through the video with me and you're quite excited now because you might have even hit a little draw, which you always told your friends you could never do. But once we've done those swings, taking a little bit of speed out, we're gonna try and build some speed back in. But again, the key is routine. So feel how that left hand is, pop that into the club. Like I said, definitely gonna feel more fingers. In from the side with the lower hand. Definitely that'll feel hugely different. If you want to look towards your target though, try not to open your body to have a look. Try and just rotate your head and look more sideways down the line. And then from there, let's go for that swing. Now, I'll be honest, that wasn't the best strike. It was a little bit towards the toe. So my path's very straight, showing the club face being a little bit open there, but that's more the curve of the face. But all of a sudden, a very playable tee shot and 247 yards and 275 total. Now, like I said, for a lot of golfers, this is such an emotional golf club and having that old habit of gripping it in the palm, popping that hand on top, really kind of having to try and manipulate everything in the golf swing, this suddenly starts to feel very easy, very quickly. Now, Obviously, we won't hit driver perfectly every time, but if you can get to that point where you can stand up, have that routine, still thinking about it a little bit, because if you don't think, you'll do your old movement, and stand there and really commit to the swing. If you were to shape one a little bit more right to left, that might miss the fairway like that one would. We can see, though, some pretty good control on face and path more distance, and for somebody who's always sliced the ball, as a coach, I'd always rather, if you started missing fairways again, you missed in the opposite direction. 
because then you're just overdoing it. And if you have exaggerated down in the fingers with the hand, just come a little bit higher up, experiment, see what gives you the most control. And when you find what works best for you, stick with it, be more consistent and start enjoying the best drives you've ever hit. And I'd take that one all day long, a little bit out of the toe again, which is pretty normal for me, but very playable and a nice long tee shot. So guys, hopefully we're now not having to tinker with those golf swings quite as much as we were before. We're gonna make sure the hands are in a position that allow us to deliver the club better. We're gonna stop slicing the ball, maybe even some cheeky little draws. Comment below if you've started drawing the ball and you love that. But if you can start getting rid of that slice, getting the ball in play, getting it further down the hole as well because the strike's improved, I think it's going to take your enjoyment of the game to a whole new level. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below, I'll get back to as many people as I can. There's another video just there that hopefully you'll enjoy. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.